So uh, I'm able to determine what's going on here. This head, as you can see, is caked, caked with schmeg. This is the opposite head. As you can see, it's really quite clean. Remarkably so, actually. A little bit of sh shit from when I pulled the head off fell in. But that one's really good. So, see if I can get a close up of the valve. Here you can see caked on schmeg right in here. Pretty catastrophic failure. And if you look right by my fingernail, there's a crack. And if you look by my thumbnail, or how about we just do this? If you look right there, there's another crack starting. So let's take a look at something. We know this is the valve here, or the valve guide. So, looking at this, I had been asked to do a tech on, on checking guide uh, wear with the head on, but I'm not going to do that now. But if you look closely, I've got quite a bit of forward and aft play. You can see it down in the guide there. Now this is with the valve way out, of course, but that's a substantial amount of play. So I'm gonna hand the camera off, Just right like that. Okay. All right. So, now, can you see it there? So here we are. The valve would maybe open about that much, and if you notice, there's a substantial amount of, you're in the sunlight now, there's a substantial amount of valve play, enough that that would cause problems. So this is the one that was chuffing for sure. So what that's going to do, though, with that, is that's going to, now we go on this side, look at how much play there is on this end. So what's happening is the valve is not able to fully seat properly when it's closed to cool the edge of the valve face because it's probably it's vibrating and it's just not able to fully close properly so what's happening is all of this schmeg that you're seeing here is blow by is combustion soot so I think what happened is we had so much blow by and such and that valve was the one that was chuffing that over time we had issues. Um, now I'm getting rust here in the bores, but that's just that's just blatantly right now from cleaning in or in the ports. So with this much play up and down, see if it'll do it again. There, that much radial play up and down. There's no way that that valve can properly make contact because what happens is valve. When it's open and the exhaust gas passes over the valve, right like that, if it's a proper valve, these edges get really hot. It closes, that heat's transferred to the valve seat and cools the valve. But if it's not able to do that properly and it's vibrating in the head, it's going to superheat this and it's gonna cause it to fracture as you see. So with that and this, that's all soot, and you'll notice that it's all in one general area, primarily right in front of this valve, right here. As we get further away from the valve, it gets less and less material. Down in here, down in there. I'll turn the head for a bit better view. Let's see if I can. Get the light on it. Ah, crap. Again, you can see that on this end, it's not so bad. But as we get closer, we run into this problem of all of this soot. So how this happened, I'm not sure. Because I started the truck and I drove about two kilometers. The 
the crack in the in the cylinder wall I'm not sure whether it was the breaking of the valve and subs subsequent hammering that caused the crack or if the crack happened first and this I, I'd have to actually pull the motor and take a closer look at what's going on I'm 90% sure it's a crack not a score because it goes at a weird jagged edge it's not a vertical line so that in essence is the root cause of this failure.